I don't think anything brightens up a room like flowers. Aren't they pretty? You know, when you stop to think of it, flowers are very necessary to our lives. They seem to be connected with every important thing that ever happens to us. Flowers are sent to our mothers when we're born. A corsage is called for on our very first dates. Weddings demand flowers. And although every occasion seems to call for flowers, I think the most exciting way to get them is when there is no occasion at all. Just because someone happens to be thinking of you or loves you, that really makes it special. In our story tonight called Escape, a girl finds beauty in a most unusual place. Our stars will be Frank Lovejoy, Margaret O'Brien, Sylvia Sidney, and our special guest star, Mr. Brian Donlevy. You go away. We won't say a thing to, to anyone. I'm not going to go until it's practical. So that means I'm going to take advantage of your hospitality for a couple of days. You reckon on staying here? Room and board. Please, sit. Sit. I, I got to set the dinner. I'll tell you when you've got anything to do. Uh, listen, mister, you don't want to shoot anyone. Sound carries this old flat country around here. Liable to be folks around looking for you. I'll take that dinner now. I'm hungry. You gotta fix your leg, mister. You're bleeding real bad. Just give me a chair, honey. Yes, sir. You act like you always do. Don't rush him. Make him suspicious. Give him a cup of coffee or a drink, you know? Anybody here give him anything and jump out of his skin? Girl. He'd just be a nice, peaceful family sitting around that table. If he comes in, invite him in where I can see him. Remember? Yeah. You want something? A man held up to Charles County Bank. There was a car found miles back down the road with a busted tie rod. There's a blood trail heading this way. It petered out, but we think it's his. Have you seen anybody or anything? No. How much did he get away with? Well, more than 40000 the first count. The bank has a $1,000 reward offered. That ought to peel your eyes. We ain't seen a soul today, Sheriff, except you. Well, I'll be back later this evening. Some of my men may be out beating the bushes, so don't shoot at the first thing that moves. Goodbye, Jean. Sheriff! Sheriff, wait a minute! Where is he? 
That sack he's got. You think you could get $40,000 in it? Maybe he buried some of it. Like some other money I remember. Look, woman, don't start on me. $600 of my money. Down in a hole for 22 years. Rotted away. Gone. Nah. What'd you say to that sheriff? Nothing. Yeah, just passing the time of day. Charles County Bank. Yes, sir. You know, it don't seem quite right sheltering the man that ran off with your life savings. You think I ought to give it back? I'm a thief. I don't give it back. Let's see. Well, seeing as you're staying, Beulah Ridge is my name. My husband, John Ridges. The girl is Jean. You'd be... Dave Winkler. Well, Mr. Winkler, keeping a guest to home costs. Yeah, costs for victuals and extras. What are you people talking about? I told you I'm not asking. Of course not, Mr. Winkler. But it ain't fair to be putting us to all that extra expense. Yeah, expense. And seeing as you've come into a sudden lot of money, we'd be greatly obliged if you'd put a little on account. Give me twenty-five hours a day. Thank you. Could you, could you see a way clear to make it at fifty? Twenty-five. We'd be grateful. What do you got in the house in the way of medicine? We've got some alcohol. There'll be another charge for that. There'll be no charge. Of course not. You don't want Mr. Winkler to think we're folks of greed. I right, get the alcohol. I want this lake to fest it. Of course not. I don't think we got any alcohol in the house. Yes, we do, John. Look on the shelf. On the shelf, John. Wait a minute. You'll get it. No, girl, let your uncle tend to it. Mr. Ridge has got the healing hand in the family. Yeah, that's a pretty bad leg, Mr. Winkler. Try to take care of it. You know, you could bleed to death. Wait up, that's likely the skin and acid. Can peel a fog in three seconds. Give me that. What is it? <laughs> Just alcohol, that's all. Taste it. Taste it! Mr. Richard, be a careless, silly man, Mr. Winkler. Mr. Winkler, be sure we mean him harm if you're not more careful, John. Apologize. I made a mistake. It was the skinning mix. I'm sorry. Still no better time for myself. Mr. Leeds, Dan. Not unless you want to. But look, I still say there's some logical explanation. Like what? I don't know. Well, I could use another drink. Well, go ahead and get stoned. It's just like you. Are we going into that now? If you want to, I'm ready. Well, go ahead. Say it like you always do. Janie's going to tie one on. Sit down and be quiet. Well, you're so right because Janie is going to tie one on. Why? Because you don't know why. It's a good thing I didn't throw a party last year. Don't do that to me, Henry, please. I was going out of my mind. I had a big evening planned for us. Dinner, show, nightclub, champagne, the works. You didn't show up till Sunday night. I told you where I was. Sure. You said you went to visit a girlfriend I never heard of. I promised you'd never bring it up. You promised. Where did you go? I believed you. You've got no right to pick on Mary. I want to know how clean your hands are. Can't you leave me anything? One thing that's just mine. 
Dorothy. I know, Mary, she wouldn't do it. Oh, we always did do a mean rumba together. We were sensational. Yeah. You remember the time we were going to quit and turn pro? We were going to be Roberto and Maria. We didn't think Roberts and Collins sounded so hot. <laughs> I guess I'd better buy you that steak now. Oh, but I I'm not hungry anymore. Just say goodbye to the people, sweetheart. Oh, oh must you go? Stay for one more. Oh, well, goodbye, everybody. Oh, it's a nice party, Danny. Uh, many Hi, happy folks. returns, Mary. Sorry we can't stay. I must go, too, Danny. Can I have it to myself for one minute? Come on. Let's sit over there. Let me pretend for just a little while, huh? That you belong here. But I don't, Danny. I've no right to be here. Mary. Why did you go to Raoul's tonight? Why not a thousand other bars? You mean, did I come there to find you, Danny? Maybe I did. But I never really expected you to be there. When I walked in and all the faces were different... Mario was gone, the waiters were all new. I thought how silly of me to have come. But I was looking for something. For what, Mary? For us? Not really. I think I was looking for Mary Collins, that bright young secretary who used to think that New York was created specially for her. And every day was brand new, full of wonder and excitement. And you settled for the safe thing. But it hasn't made you happy, has it? You're not happy with him. You did come to that bar tonight looking for me. Looking for something that we both almost had once. But we let it get away from us. Why don't you admit it? No, Danny. You're wrong. I wasn't looking for you. I was running away. You did come to that bar tonight looking for me. Well, you found me. And this time we're both grown up. We both know what the score is. I'm sorry, Stop Danny. talking. I... Oh, don't! Don't! Well, what do you know? Still the untouchable little Mary, huh? You were always so all-fired virtuous, weren't you? Well, let me tell you something. You did come out looking for something tonight. A man. A man who could make you feel more like a woman than that two-bit insurance salesman ever could. Oh, what's wrong with me? I want to know. There was never anything really wrong with you, Danny. But you're right about me. I used you tonight. I wanted to hear someone, some man, say the things you've said to me. The things a woman's got to hear. How about the insurance salesman? I suppose he doesn't have as much experience as I have, huh? No. He's not good at saying the right things. Well, you go on home. Count your candles. Maybe he can help you blow them out. Happy birthday. Excuse me, I'll get you a cab. Don't bother, Danny. And stop hurting yourself. You didn't want me. You haven't thought about me in years or I about you. We were just reaching out for someone. For different reasons. Goodbye, Danny. drink with me. 
Danny, who do you think? Yeah, that's right. Oh, you have? Okay. Sure. Another time. Night, baby. baby. Yeah, Danny Roberts. I, I, I thought we might have a drink. Oh, what do you mean? It's late. Are we going to be like this? Like what? Them. Tearing and scratching. Is that what we have to look forward to? Are you serious? This isn't a night for jokes. What have they got to do with us? Figure it out for yourself. Maybe she's with the same guy you were with. Maybe, maybe you arranged it. Henry, please. Who were you with that weekend? Where did you go? Do you really want to know? Yes. I went to Coney Island. You went to Coney Island in the middle of December? Yes, alone. I went alone because I wanted to get lost all by myself. I met a captain. I can't even remember his name. We talked. About nothing, everything. We walked along the beach, looked at the ocean. He went back to his base and I cried. When I got too tired to think anymore, I came home. I believe you, Dorothy. I wanted to think I was with the man. You wanted me to think so? I wanted you to think there was a man. Someplace. I wanted you to think there was a man who wanted me. And you'd want me to. Have I ever given you any reason to believe I didn't? Man would look at me like I was 20. A piece of eternal spring in every woman, the captain said. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Forty. And their lives are over. They seem to hate each other. I don't want us to end like that. You make it sound like we'll be forty tomorrow. You wouldn't do a thing like this. Walk out on your own birthday party. I know you. <laughs> Good old Jamie. I know her like the back of my hand. Well, you might get a little gay at parties, but that's not too important. What is? What is important, Paul? Why, you, honey. You are. Do me a favor, Paul. Sure, honey. Keep telling me that. And mean it. Maybe when I'm 40, I won't have to run. Happy birthday, Mrs. Sidney. Mother, where have you been? We've been worried. Dorothy. Jane. I had no idea. It's supposed to be a surprise. Could I talk to you a minute? Can you excuse us? I'm terribly sorry if I had known. Where were you? Late. I went to a bar. I met a man and went to his apartment. Did you want me to lie to you? You never lied to me in your whole life. Do you want to know who it was? Not unless you... Yes, I want to know. 
It was Danny Roberts. What? Danny showed me the truth about myself and about us. What are you talking about? The day you were 40, you took it in your stride. You worked all day and we went to a movie that night. Maybe men can do that, but a woman can't. It's a day that's never going to come. You try not to think about it. And then one morning you wake up and it's here. And you have a terrible feeling inside, like nothing you ever felt before. No one's going to want you. No one's ever going to find you beautiful again. Or say it, anyway. And... And it becomes something you have to hear. Maybe once again. That's why I went to Danny's apartment. And he said everything I wanted to hear. And then, something happened to me. I thought, what if I lose Stan and all I have because of my being here? And I couldn't wait to get back to you. I'll get over being 40 in a few days. If you still love me. Maria? Did I tell you how beautiful you are? I love your hair. Oh, Stan. What you need a little break, Mary? How about you, Janie? Oh, happy oh, birthday. Right one. Oh, happy birthday. Oh, boy. You're wrong, Sil. It's not bad. What? Being 40. Oh, I know, I know, there's one even in ten. Happy birthday to you, and for you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mary. Happy birthday to you. Four Star Production.